Today, we're gonna see who can build the ultimate gaming room. This is my room, and this is yours, Jarvis. We each have $5,000 and 24 hours, Jarvis. Let's go, right now, let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. So the judges are gonna score us at the end. The winner gets to keep both of the ultimate gaming rooms, and the loser sleeps outside for a whole week. I'm starting off by spraying mine black. Jarvis, what are you doing in yours? I have a special theme for mine, but to start off, I gotta do the outside, this like navy blue color. You always get kicked out of here for filming, so Jarvis, we have to spend $5,000 each before that happens. This is giving me an insane idea, guys. These are $250 each. I had to get like four of these. This is the main part for my room. I'm gonna need so many of these LED lights. I'm gonna hook them up everywhere. Make it as lit as possible, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna need at least like 10 of these, bro. And obviously, man, I'm getting a PlayStation 5 brand new for this room. Well, guys, I've been on Xbox my whole life, so we are not changing now. We are getting the new brand new Xbox. It is like $500, so it's like nearly $2,000 we spent already. Guys, this wouldn't be a real gaming setup without the monitors. And, you know, I want to make this a crazy gaming setup. So we're going to need at least three. That is like another $1,000. I don't have a lot of money left. This isn't good. No, I just didn't see these guys. I just found gaming monitors on sale. I'm going to save myself like 500 bucks right here. All right, guys, man. I'm going to need to stack up on these. Guys, we need this. The Oculus Rift. This thing is insane. I'm going to make it look crazy. Don't you worry. I think I might have to put a fridge inside it. Guys, I just actually had a big bright bulb idea and I'm gonna need loads of these to make what I'm envisioning. You've never seen a gaming room on the internet this crazy, I promise. Imagine the sun, the stars, all the planets, all in one gaming room, man. All right, guys, I found a gaming set finally that is in budget. I spent so much money on all those lights and everything. I didn't even have enough for an insane PC, but you know, this is gonna have to do. $800 for a PC, guys, this is a steal. We finally painted the inside of mine all black, guys, and right now what I am doing is creating that Rolls Royce stars in the ceiling feeling. Can you see this? I don't think you guys really understand how much work this is taking me. I have to feed through each star individually through a fiber optic light cable and then cut it right at the end there to create that star. Look at this, guys. There is 5,000 stars to do. You think that looks crazy? Wait till you see the back, man. This is how crazy the back looks. It's a big mesh of wires going into the tent, man. I have all of this left to do. And I have five more sets of these to do. I hope I have enough time to do this, man. No wonder Rolls Royces are so expensive. You know, Frazier, he's doing all the inside, trying to make it all nice. I want to make sure the outside of mine looks as nice and lit as possible. I've got so many of these, like, electronic lights and stuff. You guys can see what I'm using. Like, you can't really tell. I'm just telling you. Wait till it gets to the nighttime and this place is gonna look crazy. All right, guys, and now on to the next part of my gaming room. You have no idea how good this is all about to look at nighttime, man. That's when my ultimate gaming room really comes into effect. So I finally got the floor and you guys can see I had to cut the grass that I had. So now it can perfectly fit inside the room. You might be able to see the theme that's coming along, but if you can't, I'm gonna show you the next part right now, guys. This is the first planet. Oh, there we go. We can change colors, guys. Imagine the whole galaxy inside this room with the stars and the universe behind it. And this place is the best at nighttime. You're gonna have to stick around to see what it really looks like. Like these can change into any color, literally anything. All right guys, I think I've done most of the outside. Now it is time to actually get the gaming set up. Cause this isn't a gaming room without a gaming setup. You guys can't tell me this isn't looking insane. Look, we got the monitors here. We got a little peek, bro. Just look at the lights. I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna make this room crazy. I'm gonna have to go and sneak peek on Jarvis's. I'm nervous about the judges. I have to score higher than Jarvis. Like I have to win this. All right, I'm gonna sneak up on Jarvis's right now. He spray painted the outside of his tent. Is anybody in here? Oh, yo, yo, yo get out, Whoa. get out. Get out. Oh. Come in yet. What do you mean? I can't come in. So Frazier has spent so much time outside, you know, putting these lights all together and I don't even think it's gonna look that cool Like he doesn't even have enough time to make the inside look insane like, And when it comes to judging, I hope they all appreciate the amount of work I have put into this room Alright guys, I want to show you the progress I've made so far So let's come inside Look at this place from from a minute ago and now how you're seeing it Crazy, I'm putting in some of the final little touches like some pillows You can see I've got bed set up, I have my set up No, I don't, I don't want to show off too much right now because there are still a few more crucial little things that need to be done to make this full room complete but yeah guys i'll show you it when it's fully done but there's no way i lose this so jarvis and i have spent the last 48 hours making these gaming rooms we have the judges here tico t -Wop, and hannah you're gonna score us on four different sections starting with the outside let's turn on the ultimate gaming room the outside is turning on in three two one let's go Whoa! look at that look at these Whoa. Judges, Jarvis and I aren't gonna tell you which room is mine and which room is his. So it's an even competition. So, oh no, you're gonna vote mine, obviously. Wait, wait. Let's start on the one to the right side. Okay, I love the stars. There's a lot of them. 
very bright. These are 5,000 individually handmade optic cables feeding into the tent for an inside lighting effect. So you guys aren't even seeing what has really been made right here, just the outside. I I'm not sure who really made it, but I gotta say, this one looks kind of feminine, but I like it. It's it reminds me of like a cloning machine, and I, I agree might with that. like I that. Yeah, I think that's enough of this one. We should go check out the outside of the other one. That light under here, I really like that. A very well thought through. You know, this section looks kind of patchy and like T-Wop said about the last one. I think it's all like that Picasso type vibe, you know what I'm saying? You, that's like that crazy abstract art. I like the nuances in the painting. The artist you know, knows painting. what he's doing. All right, judges, that was the outside. Give your scores out of 10 before we head inside. You know, seeing as we're outside this one, we may as well just take a look first. Yeah, I'm down. Let's Convenient. go inside here, guys. All right, make sure you take your shoes off because okay, that's yeah, very yeah. important, is it? <laughs> Whoa! I really like look what I'm at, seeing! Look what I'm wow, this is extremely cozy. I wish you guys could be here with us because it's such an experience right now. Look, I'm going to be completely honest. I could actually like move in here for a bit. Wait, that's what I'm saying. Like, I like this one a lot. Did anyone see the VR setup? That's future proof. This setup is gonna be compatible with the next year. The other tent better be good inside because this one is really nice. All right, so now you guys have seen everything inside. Everyone mark your scores and let me know what you okay, guys are yeah. thinking. You look kind of nervous. You all right? The next tent is 10 times better than this inside, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? yeah. Next on the checklist is the game ability of the room. Tico, maybe you could lead this one to see how gameable this <coughs> room is. I have to say, I'm impressed by the 2080 in the PC in here. Like, you can high really play games in here. High FPS for sure. Very high FPS. The monitors looks like solid. A minimum 144 hertz. Game Monitor. No, I gotta say, like, gaming here is a vibe. It's just, it's just overall vibe. And as I mentioned earlier on Tico, they have a VR setup. Like, that's the game oh. changer for me. There's so many cool games on this that we need to try here. Wow. And you guys, I don't know how you guys are, but when I'm gaming, I always am thirsty. And it's nice to have a fridge like that. Like, look at that. I, I mean, you guys seem like you're loving it, so just put your scores down. Oh, yeah. Know, 10 out of 10. That uh, VR, sounds, that really changes a lot of Whoever fun. made this, Fraser or Jarvis, I'm impressed. All right, enough of this tent. I'm over this, man. Let's go check out the next one. Next up is the best part, guys. The inside of the next tent, all right? Follow me and make sure you take off your shoes. Look at God, this, guys. Space. There's a campfire when you're low health. Okay. <laughs> that was a solar system crate in here. You guys can see this is Venus, Jupiter, Neptune. Planet Earth is up there, man. I love this fake grass. If we were on real grass, oh, disgusting. Yeah, you can see the vibe they want for in here, man. Gaming inside, but you're actually outside. What does that actually mean? I mean, I'm inside, but I feel like I'm outside when I really am we're outside. We're inside and outside. This is like gaming at its rawest. I feel like my ancestors could play video games here. All right, judges, do your scores for the inside of this tent. I must say that this room makes me feel a lot more open than the last one. The last one was good, but it was more cluttered than this one. How, what about the gaming mobility? How are we really gaming here though? What's so, the, wow, we got a PlayStation inside, 5 and the Xbox. Yeah, the Xbox Series S. Interesting. The, the new one, man. New Where's update. the PC at? They obviously didn't want to ruin the aesthetic in here with the big RPG computer. So they installed a PlayStation 5 and Xbox. You know, it's really clean, simple. Yeah, I feel like a big computer might have taken too much space. This is simple, minimalistic, but I love it. I do like how easy it is to just grab a controller, lay on the ground and just game a little bit. No, I'm one. I didn't actually see a mouse mat. I don't know if you judges saw that, but I don't know how you use that PC. I yeah, did, yeah, I no, no, no. That. that was yeah, that was in a that. cupboard in, in there. It was in the fridge. <laughs> Honestly, you guys seem pretty biased. Like you really like the other one, no, and no, he no. really likes this one. Like, I'm just being honest. Dude. No, yeah, it's just my honest. Feedback, no, I you know, feel like it's that. you two just roasting each other I the whole time. All right, judges, let's go get the final scores to see who's keeping both gaming rooms and who is sleeping outside for a week. All right, judges, you see the inside, you saw the outside, you know the game ability. Add up your scores so we can see. Who's one, Jarvis? I'm not I am pretty outside, confident. Bro. I'm very I'm not confident. Sleeping outside. Right. We'll start with Hannah. Tell us your overall score for Jarvis's tent. My overall score for Jarvis's tent is 30 out of 30. I'm gonna Yay! have to say that's it's 30. beautiful. That's 30. Oh, yeah, 30, bro. That's a lot, but she is. That is a lot. 30. 3030. Zero, zero. And for Frazier's tent, I score that 30 out of 30 as well. Oh, whoa! Okay, what? Jarvis. For Jarvis's, I scored it a 24 out of 24. 30. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, 24 out of 30. And for my one, too, like, that's kind of low. For I voted. 
27 oh! out of 30. Oh, I'm in the lead, it's all to tee up, but who's gonna win? Ooh, it's all up to me now. So, Frazier, this stand, I give a 26 out of 30. Okay, my overall score is 83. Oh. And ladies and gentlemen, I gave that tent, aka Jarvis's tent, a whopping 28 out of 30. Oh yes, my God, yes, yes I win! Who plays